the movie is so much fun for a lot of different reasons, but especially for fans of movies to mm -hmm. go behind the scenes like you do here in that golden era yeah. um, and then put the Cohen twist on it. Mm -hmm. How do you describe the film? I don't know. To me, simply the film is really following through the labyrinth of this guy, this Christ-like figure. That, you know, it's cosmetically, he's kind of thuggish, but I think uh, interiorly, he's like Christ-like going through this labyrinth of you know, Hollywood debauchery and keeping all his children in check um, to impress his boss, God, or Nick Skank in this case. Um, and I think he's a heroic character. You know, it's funny because he comes, I didn't think about much of this before. I mean, I did, but you see it when I saw the film a couple of days ago for the first time because I've been gone doing another film. And, and to really see kind of the heroic nature of this guy is Wonderful. It's funny, and you get into it, and there's a lot of laughs to be had. But also, just as a, you know, never judge a book by its cover. This guy is a really diplomatic angel in trying to, uh, to do good not only by himself, by his family, but also his boss. Plus, the man he he lives, breathes, eats, filmmaking twenty four seven, and loves like every minute of it. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's I, at some point it was really dumb to actually like. Be you know being involved in the movie industry, like you can't live in L.A. because it's embarrassing because you're obviously connected to the film industry in some way, form or another. Not that that's necessarily true. You know, if you're New York, you're a real person, and if you live in L.A., you're not because you're in the biz. You know, and the, which is horrible. Um, but I don't believe any of that bullshit. <laughs> you're one. I of think it's I think it's great, and I think that being involved in storytelling is like one of the great great uh, businesses you can be in and I do think it's a business and then once in a while you have like these two little funny people the Coens that come along and tell amazing stories you know through their very twisted uh, um, sensibilities and uh, when I saw the movie the other day I was blown away I was really like kind of shaken up by how good and fun it was and you're one of the, the only cast members in this amazing ensemble that gets to actually work with every other member no, of the was, cast. Yeah, it was like I felt um, like it was doing a series or something, like all these great guest stars. I remember when, when Tilda came in, I got nervous because she was nervous. I don't, you don't expect somebody like Tilda to get nervous. And she wanted to run dialogue and all this kind of stuff. And I thought... I mean, look, man, to be able to work with people like this on top of their game, that's what's wonderful about the Coens is they attract people who are at the top of their game. So it makes for a little more um, jovial tension. You know what I mean? You're excited, but you don't want to screw up, which is fun. I like that kind of, uh, it's a good kind of tension. And then you get to spend a day slapping George Clooney around. You can't. I know, that wasn't the most fun thing that I did. There were a lot of fun things that I did, but slapping George was fun. <laughs> we don't get to see some of these kind of movies made anymore, the, the, the aquatic spectacle and the, and the big western like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do see westerns, but not like that. Yeah. And, and the song and dance, a la Gene yeah. Kelly. It's yeah. fun to do. You get. see westerns. From the Coens, you see westerns. Um, but no, I know you don't. And it's great to be able to touch on these kind of histories in film because who knows, you know, it could inspire a whole new generation to, to watch those, like, you know, awful Esther Williams movies back in the day. They're not awful. They just are what they are. You know, when you look at, like, I, I'd never seen an Esther Williams film before I read this script, and then I started, because I wanted to, like, be knowledgeable, and then I started watching them, and, and, and now they're like a secret addiction of mine <laughs> that I probably shouldn't tell anybody on camera, but I am now. It's out there now. It's out there now. Thank you. Yeah, of Appreciate course. It.